Dear Healy World member, welcome to the regulatory training as a Healy Medical Device Advisor. This training course takes about 20 minutes. Just a short note before we begin. From now on, I'm going to use the abbreviation MDA instead of Medical Device Advisor. What awaits you in our MDA training? You will be familiarized with some important issues that are required by law. After completing the Healy Medical Device Advisor training course, you will need to pass a test containing 10 questions. After correctly answering at least 9 out of the 10 questions, you will receive a certificate confirming successful completion of the MDA training. We then ask you to upload the certificate to your profile in your Healy back office under Medical Qualification. First, we are going to discuss what you as an MDA need to know about the European guidelines for medical devices. Then I will explain to you what a medical device is and what the four classes of medical devices are. You will then learn everything you need to know about the conformity assessment procedure. Next, I will explain to you what a safety representative is and most importantly, what an MDA actually does and what his or her duties are. And last but not least, we are going to explain the monitoring and reporting systems. The primary aim of a united Europe is to simplify and harmonize legal regulations that were previously country specific and often quite complex. By enacting Europe wide regulations and laws, harmonization is achieved for many areas of life. A good example was the introduction of the euro as a common currency. The CE mark used attached to every Healy is another good example. It means that our product meets all relevant requirements in the entire European community. In the field of medical devices, of which Healy is one, a common European medical device directive will also apply from 2020 on. What is a medical device then? It is a product that is primarily used on or in humans. It may be used to identify, treat, monitor, or alleviate diseases, or to prevent them in a medical sense. There are four categories of medical devices, class one, class two A, class two B, and class three. They are classified according to the duration of the application and where in or on the body they are applied. Here is an example of a class 1 device which is easily understood. An adhesive plaster is applied to the body surface for a short period of time. This results in a lower risk for the user. The same applies to bandages or a wheelchair. These products carry a simple CE mark without a number and are therefore not certified by the notified body. Class 2A devices are different. The user risk here is still low, but the duration of the application is medium term and the application takes place within the body, either by imaging methods or by transferring energy to the body. Other examples are the application of toothpaste in the mouth or an injection with a drug. This is the class where Healy is to be found. The duration of its application can be determined as medium term and the application of microcurrent for therapy is transferring energy to the user's body. All products in this class bear the CE mark of a notified body such as MedCert, which means that the manufacturer in the sense of the directive is certified. Class 2B products differ from the previous ones in terms of risk, duration of use and depth of treatment. An example of this class is the administration of infusions. Certification and CE mark correspond to class 2A. Class 3 products have the highest risk class and the longest duration of application. They may be implanted into or absorbed by the body. Good examples for class 3 device are pacemakers or artificial hip joints. In addition to the certification, as in class 2A and 2B, class 3 devices need approval as a medical device. Let's now move on to so-called conformity assessment procedure. In order to carry the CE mark, manufacturers and their products must meet a number of strict requirements. 
These requirements include classification into one of the risk classes we just discussed, as well as compliance with all requirements of the Medical Devices Act, proof of a risk management policy and detailed technical documentation of the product must be present. Additionally, a quality management system in accordance with the relevant standards must be implemented. A safety representative and MDAs must be appointed and trained. An information, monitoring and reporting system that complies with the relevant regulations must be implemented. Only if all these measures are in place, the manufacturer is allowed to affix a CE mark to its products. Let's now talk about the role of the safety representative, or SR. As a mediator between the authorities and the MDA, the SR has the following tasks. He or she collects and evaluates reports regarding the risks of medical devices, coordinates any necessary measures, and fulfills the notification duties. The SR at Healy World is engineer Werner Vietrich. The prerequisites to become an SR are graduation from university and at least two years of professional experience acquiring the specialist knowledge required by Paragraph 30 of the German Medical Devices Act. Now to the essential part of the training course. What exactly is an MDA? According to Paragraph 31 of the German Medical Devices Act, anyone who professionally informs or instructs medical professionals, such as physicians, in person or by telephone, is considered to be an MDA. Accordingly, an MDA must be able to demonstrate expertise and experience in the transmission of information and in providing instructions for medical devices. Paragraph 31 of the German Medical Devices Act states that expertise only exists if the following conditions are met. The MDA has successfully completed training in a scientific, medical or technical profession and has been trained in the relevant medical devices. Or, the MDA has gained experience with and information about the respective medical devices and, if necessary, the instruction regarding those devices through at least one year of professional activity. This time period may be shorter in some justified cases. NDAs must be trained regularly. These requirements result in the following obligations for the manufacturer. Providing yearly product training courses for all MDAs. Continuously supplying the MDAs with relevant information and documenting these activities. It is very important that you can present your certificate to the authorities at all times if requested by the authorities. It is also required by law that you, as an MDA, make an active effort to always keep your knowledge regarding the medical devices up to date. Thus, you will always be able to give expert advice. As an MDA, you have another important task. It consists of passing on all relevant information gathered from healthcare professionals or users in writing to the product manufacturer, Healy GmbH or the SR engineer Werner Vietrich. Such information can consist of side effects and interactions of Healy, malfunctions or technical defects, contraindications, falsifications of Healy. This training course is important because having an insufficient qualification, according to paragraph 31 of the German Medical Devices Act, is punishable as an administrative offence, or if the communication is missing, inaccurate, incomplete, or not according to the requirements of the Medical Product Act, or not provided in a timely manner. This is important to note because in Germany, a fine of up to 25,000 euros can be imposed for this administrative offence. The reporting system that you will be a part of follows the guidelines regarding the monitoring and reporting system. What does this system entail? Directive 93, 42 EEC, protective clause, information on occurrences after entering the market. Medical Device Safety Plan Ordinance German Medical Devices Act Monitoring and Risk Protection Forms and Record Sheets Quality Management System The point of all this is ensuring that by recording risk cases 
Important information can quickly be passed on to other users of the medical device, thus keeping any damage as low as possible and, above all, preventing damage. It's all about the user. Their protection is the ultimate goal. What is the information path in the event of damage happening? The Healy GmbH officially appoints a safety representative. The safety representative is in direct contact with all medical device advisors who inform the customer about the product. In the case of an incident with the medical device, the user informs the medical device advisor, who in turn immediately informs the safety representative in writing. The safety representative then evaluates the incoming report and if a safety risk actually exists, reports the incident to the Federal Institute for Drugs and Medical Devices. The Federal Institute for Drugs and Medical Devices forwards the incident report to the relevant authority and the EC Commission and provides the necessary forms for further processing to all parties involved. As a manufacturer, we must comply with our reporting obligations in the following cases. In the event of product recalls or malfunctions attributable to product defects. In serious cases, such as a serious health impairment or even death of a user. Also for all incidents that could possibly cause one of the above cases. If the term serious cannot be exactly clarified by the manufacturer, the decision should be made to file a report. Note, a report is not an admission of guilt. In the event of an incident, its causes must be clarified. Was it or could it have been caused by the product, its application, or the information associated with the product? Other issues that we as MDAs also need to report are incorrect results and faulty devices, an incomprehensible operating manual. On this slide, we see the institution and groups of people involved in the process of reporting. Now, how exactly do we handle a report? After the MDA has gained knowledge of a risk, he must gather all relevant data regarding the event, the persons involved and the device, and forward it to the safety representative, engineer Werner Viertrek. This is best done by email. The safety representative then initiates all further steps as soon as he is made aware of the risk, considering all further proceedings. In the event of a report, he informs the German Institute for Medical Documentation and Information, DIMDI, for further coordination. Now to a very important issue that we want to particularly emphasize here. As soon as a manufacturer or the MDA has gained knowledge of an incident, it must be reported immediately in writing to DIMDI. If there is no imminent danger present, a reporting period of 30 days applies. In all other cases, a notification must be submitted within 24 hours. The DIMDI reporting system integrates all users and healthcare professionals. This means that this group can post notifications to DIMDI. If in doubt, always file a report. Please send all reports of incidents immediately to the email address qm at healy.de. The Healy GmbH conducts ongoing training courses for the MDAs and the safety representatives. Depending on the group of people involved, this includes all reporting, including deadlines, all reporting procedures and risk assessment procedures. Thank you very much for your attention.